Hey, what's up, my guys, and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. And today we're going to be looking at a new tank design. This is kind of the evolution of make it small, make it hard to hit, less armor is no armor. A lot of people in my tank building community have been building smaller and smaller tanks. I'm not sure if it's purely cosmetic or if it's something that they're actually trying to do with armor to make them really hard to hit. But I've kind of joined along and have built the MBT Mark 32, aka the Lynx, which is this little thing. This is a fully featured tank, has a stabilizer, autoloader, everything I'd normally put on a tank, but really small. And I, to be honest, I think this is really the smallest you can make a fully featured tank without getting rid of features like the four round autoloader, stabilizers, and things like that. So. I'm really happy with it. As you can probably already tell, it does have a modified version of the Viper turret. The Viper turret was what was on the Mark 31.10, I do believe. Let's just go ahead and take a look at it, real quick look around. Take it to the back. And I do have two other tanks here to kind of give you a size comparison when I say this tank is really tiny. And then we can go ahead and hop in. I need to actually delete my lift so I can drive forward and I'll show you a bit of a size comparison to these two. So this is, this is lag. That is the Mark 31 Viper and that is the Mark 28 uh, Wyvern. So to give you a bit of an idea of how big these are. Now, it's not a major difference between the 31 and the 32, simply because they are using the same turret, and the turret is the kind of the big determining factor of the size. However, it is, is a little bit shorter. And the Wyvern, the Wyvern is a big difference between the two, because not only is the Wyvern... Oh, holy crap. My entire tank is almost as tall as the Wyvern's chassis alone. Actually, I think it is if I go towards the back. So... Let's go ahead and take a look at this. So few things have changed with the turret itself from the Viper to the Lynx. First thing is the aiming machine guns have been moved to the side. I was having issues with the round getting hit by the machine guns. So that was moved. Also, there's two machine guns now. So you have a more rapid fire, which is kind of like you'd normally have on the Wyvern and the Surge and other tanks like that. Now, a little bit of an issue because of its positioning. It does rotate the turret slightly as you're aiming, and it isn't completely accurate. You do have to judge the fact that your aiming spud gun is a little bit to your left-hand side. Um, overall, it works really well. It also has a cage added to the gun to make it less likely to get hit by spuds, which makes it a bit safer. Honestly, I wouldn't mind putting this turret back on the Mark 31 Viper and improving that as well, but for now it's just staying on this tank. So I guess I'm not really sure how much there is to show because it's just another tank. It's better. It's a better tank, I'd say. It's a much smaller tank, much harder to hit tank, but at the end of the day it works just like any of my other tanks would. Go ahead, aim and fire. And we ammo rack to the wyvern. Grab that. Please and thank you, frame rate, you have disappeared. There we go. And delete that. Now, this tank is solely built on the principle of be so small and so agile you can't really be hit. There's no armor really on this tank. The front is somewhat protected. You can possibly take a round on the front I've actually taken large canisters before but small canisters with their armor penetration qualities kind of uh, absolutely decimate this light tank and honestly I would even kind of consider this to be a tank et to some extent just considering that the mark 31 there I'd consider a light tank and the wyvern is somewhere between a light and medium and this is significantly smaller oh the frame rate wouldn't let me fire Probably because the Wyvern's turret's still over there. Let me delete that. So overall I am happy and I kind of do like this smaller tank design just because they're really cute and adorable. But I'm not really sure I can go any smaller with my designs without sacrificing something 
that I would consider a major component like the autoloaders and things like that. Okay, there we go. So I am really happy with it, but I am going to have to end the episode here. This is a bit of a shorter one because I've done a lot of tanks and they're really, to be completely honest, they're very similar in functionality. Um, and that kind of brings me to another point. I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to be doing the main battle tank series. The main battle tank series are the PvP focused tanks like the Lynx here, the Viper, the Wyvern, those tanks. Simply because a lot of them are getting really repetitive now. Now that we figured out stabilizers, we figured out autoloaders, we figured out aiming. A lot of the tanks now are just becoming copy pasted versions of the same tank. Just with some cosmetic changes or some minor upgrades here and there. So to be completely honest, I'm not sure how much longer I can keep the MBT series going without becoming too repetitive. Which I think it already has been. Um... Not to say tanks are disappearing, I do have some plans on more cosmetic tanks, people have been enjoying those, as well as some things that aren't exactly tanks, like um, artillery and things like that, are probably going to be coming a little bit more, but I think the links here marks the end of the MBT series for now. This isn't the first time I've ended the MBT series. But until the next update comes out, there's not much else I can really do to improve my tanks. And I'm afraid it's just going to become repetitive. So, that being said, the end of the MBT series is kind of here. And I'm going to be doing some other builds in the future. Hopefully mix things up a little bit, add some more things to my growing military. Um, but I am going to end it here. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoy the challenge or what I'm doing, please subscribe. It helps out a lot. And right now, shares help the channel the most. So if you do want to help the channel, please share this episode with a friend. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for sticking around. And until next time, peace.